Hmm. All right, what's up, everybody? So, uh, I was in the middle of filming a Dodge Durango video earlier. Oh, man, this is this is how things roll. I was filming a Dodge Durango, the red one. My phone starts bleeping, and I, I look at my phone, and you know, of course, I got somebody on Facebook here messaging with me. And uh, let's talk about this for a second. Let me lock my door real quick so nobody interrupts us uh, while this is going on. So uh, this girl named, uh, let's just call her uh, Ariel, okay? Or, because I can't pronounce her real name. Let's just call her Ariel, okay? Um, let's see here. She she starts messaging me today at 3 o'clock. It's 3.48 right now. Today at 3 o'clock. She goes, uh, do y'all do y'all still have this? It's a Dodge Avenger. Yes, we do have this. The question is, are you ready to come look at it? I'm on the way to check it out. Oh, okay. I said, that sounds great. The Dodge Avenger is still here. I will talk with my mechanic to see why the vehicle has not been pulled up front yet to be able to be sold. This is a silver Dodge Avenger we have had at our store here for uh, probably two weeks now. It's been sitting right next to our mechanic shop. Okay, so anyways, he says what? She says, well, I need to know, is it easy before I come all the way there? She says, well, I need to know, is it easy before I come all the way there? Well, what do you mean, is it easy? I need to know. Okay, I mean, I need to know. Okay, so anyway, this is Ebonics through text message here, everybody. Okay, you gotta really take time to learn this stuff. So I said, um, I said, come on up to the store, let's take a look at it. And I sent her a picture, sent her a picture of it right there, okay? She said, okay. I said, is there a phone number to call you at? She sends me her number. And then I talked to her on the phone, and I tell her, look, I said, I just got done talking to the mechanic, the car will not shift into gear for some reason, something's going on with the transmission, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. I talk on the phone with her for about eight, eight minutes, something like that. And uh, she said, well, I've been up here at the store before and uh, you know, I work with some man, he bald headed and uh, this, that and the other. Oh, okay, you talk to Mr. Porter. Yeah. And she said, but uh, she said, but I talked to some lady on the phone and she told me to ask for you. Okay, so anyway, I said, well, come on up to the store, blah, blah, blah. I said, how about this? I'll send you some pictures of some cars that are in your price range. This girl's basically trying to be at 3,000 cash out the door or less. So she don't have that much money to work with. So I sent her a bunch of pictures of cars, okay, on my phone here, walking around, showed her pictures, and, uh, and then she came up here. Well, let me tell you, she's outside right now. But this little thing, she thinks she is like royalty or she must think she's like the goddess of men or, or something like that because the attitude that she displayed as I was talking with her outside earlier was horrible. Um, we'll talk about it. Let's go outside. All right, so let's let's get back to our story. Well, I'll be doggone it. I'll be doggone it. The two girls were right parked right there they're already gone i want to know where they went but it's okay let's talk real quick though about these two ladies actually one lady but there was two here's the thing she walks into the front of the store right there she slips and sits down with her little girlfriend right there and uh and mike tyson walks up and mike tyson's like talking to her and i'm laughing i'm like <laughs> you know like I mean, I'm laughing behind the scenes, but Mike sees me back there before the customer sees me. And I walk out, I say, hey, how you doing? I didn't know how to pronounce her name, but I said, hey, how you doing? And, uh, and she looked at me and she goes, I've been working with him too before, you know, I come back in here before, I've been working with him, you know. And I'm like, okay, I'm like, well, you know, who do you want to work with? Because I just got off the phone with you, I just spent time taking pictures, giving you price quotes. I mean, will you give me a few minutes of your time? I guess, you know, it was like an attitude out of her. You know, and, she, and then when we get out here and start looking at stuff, she's like, I just need a call today, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, she walks over and just sits down inside of this black Saturn view over here that's $39.95. I'm like, this thing's already $1,000 over the price range. So, I mean, what are we going to do? You know, it's already $1,000 over. And here's the thing. I go to get the key to the car and I tell her, I said, well, I just found out from the mechanic that the power steering pump went out on the car. She like sucked her teeth at me like, you know, and uh, and got out. She said, I ain't got time to be playing these games. 
blah, 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 blah. I, I wander over here. I said, well, we got another Saturn right over there. But either way, these cars are out of your price range. I said, the main car I told you that you need to be looking at that you can buy today if you want a vehicle, okay, is the Dodge Durango, this $29.95. I can sell you that for three grand. Or the Pontiac G6, the silver Pontiac G6. So, let me show y'all the Pontiac G6. Same price, $29.95. What's wrong with that? Right there. Well, obviously, she didn't really like it all that much, and obviously, her taste is a little too champagne-y for that car. So I get it, I get everybody has their own thing, but please, keep your attitude away from me, because I don't wanna deal with it either, okay? And I walked inside, I said, Mike Tyson, here's the keys to the Pontiac, you're more than welcome to go test drive with her. I'm not dealing with her attitude. That's exactly why she hasn't bought a car yet. She was here a couple days ago, didn't buy a car. She said she's been out car shopping other places and hadn't bought a car. And now she done, she done left again and didn't buy a car from us. So he can deal with that. I'm not dealing with it. Maybe he's better with it, but I don't care who you are and how pretty you think you are. That ain't gonna fly, okay? I don't mind being nice to you and treating you like a queen. There's nothing wrong with that but I deserve a little bit of respect. And you're not gonna treat me like a freaking roach on the ground and just be like that. I ain't putting up with it. That today of all days is not the day to deal with it. So sales guys and the sales force out there, if you're watching on my channel, God have mercy, I hope some of y'all are watching on my channel. Please don't let people walk all over you. Is the $100 commission worth dealing with somebody's nasty attitude and you basically having to bow down and kiss that royal ass for that hundred dollars is it i don't know today i decided it's not worth it and i did a good gamble there because she ain't buying a car from mike tyson either so can we not have a little bit of self-respect for ourselves a little bit of confidence here that we are salespeople, and like i told her I might not be the other salespeople down the road, okay? I'm gonna do the best I can to make sure you're taken care of. But you gotta give me a little bit of respect. And But guess what? What's the other thing they said? Respect is earned. I thought I earned that respect, Woodard, but obviously not. All right, guys, that's it for that clip. See ya.